absolute cowardice. Where is the leadership? Everyone, Nadine Wellwood, frankly speaking. Justin Trudeau, the self proclaimed defender of human rights. This should have been a home run, T ball, perfect scenario for Justin Trudeau to actually show that he has some leadership ability. But no, alas, it is not. He didn't even have the courtesy to show up to vote on the genocide that is happening with the Uyghurs in China. He sent a representative to abstain himself and his caucus. Speaker, I abstain on behalf of the government of Canada. Mr. Garneau, abstention, abstention. Mr. Hardy. What was that about? Coward. Not only is he a hypocrite, because the self-proclaimed defender of human rights, who so eagerly accused Canadians of genocide a hundred some years ago. Earlier this morning, the National Inquiry formally presented their final report, in which they found that the tragic violence that Indigenous women and girls have experienced amounts to genocide refuses to call out China on the genocide that is actually happening here and now today. What more evidence does your government need to see before it concludes whether or not a genocide is occurring in China? And given that we're even discussing the possibility of a genocide, is Beijing an appropriate venue for the Olympics? Uh, first of all, on determinations of genocide, uh, the uh, principles of international law uh, and the international community in general, uh, I think rightly, takes very, very seriously uh, the label of genocide and needs to ensure that when uh, it, it, it is used, uh, it is uh, clearly uh, and properly uh, justified and demonstrated so as not to weaken uh, the application of genocide in situations uh, in the past. And that's why it's a word that is extremely loaded and uh, is certainly something uh, that we should be looking at uh, in the case of the Uyghurs. And I cowardice. Absolute cowardice. Where is the leadership? There isn't any. 266 members of parliament voted. This was the one opportunity for Justin Trudeau not only to have the complete 100% support of the House of Commons, whether they were blue, green, red, orange, or independent. Everyone who voted 266 yeas agree that this is genocide. And he didn't even take the time to show up to vote. Now, if he chose to abstain, even, do you not think he could have shown a little bit of leadership, a little bit of courage, and gave an explanation as to diplomatic relations? We have two Michaels, China's holding as hostage. Of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China. Um, because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime. There could have been something, but no, nothing. A simple, we abstain. So his government, not the backbenchers. What was that about? But his government, he himself, the leadership of this country, every Canadian would agree. Every person in the House of Commons has agreed. And he didn't even have the common decency or the common sense to show up. This is what we now call Canada. 
Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please share. Please hit the like button. Please hit the notification for future videos. Until next time.